Metricoolers! My name is Alex and welcome back to another video in our Metricool tutorial series. Today we're going to be talking all about our approval system. This is an updated video, so whether or not you're new to the approval system or maybe you're coming from the previous one, today we will be talking all about the features that we have added such as bulk actions and sending posts to people who do not have a Metricool account. I'm going to give you a full walkthrough of these new features, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I go ahead and get into the new features of our approval system, please make sure that you go watch the first video. I go in depth into the different user roles and permissions we have within the approval system workflow. Things like talking about what a manager can do, a content creator, a client, creating your own role so that you can really make the approval system work the best it possibly can for your brand or your business. I will make sure to link that video in a card above and then as well in the description box so that it's easy to reference and access. Another thing too that's important to know is that our approval system is a premium feature. It is a part of our advanced and enterprise plans. Make sure you stay till the end because I'll share a code so that you can try any Metricool premium plan for free for 30 days. With all of that, let's get started with talking about the new features. We have two big new features to talk about. One is the bulk actions, and this is being able to send multiple posts for approval, deny multiple posts, or approve multiple posts all at once, making it a very easy process. And then the second big feature we have is being able to send a post for approval to someone who is outside of your Metricool network, meaning they don't have a Metricool account. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the bulk actions first, and then I will show you how to send to someone that isn't necessarily associated on your Metricool account. So for the bulk actions, we're actually going to leave the calendar page and we're gonna go into the list view, which you can see is right next to the calendar option up here. So you're gonna click into list and you can use the list view for multiple reasons, but for today, we're gonna talk about the bulk actions. You'll wanna make sure that the posts that you are looking at are obviously in the future. So posts that have been scheduled out. So here I have looking one week ahead and You'll see the nice list. You'll see the post content, the no networks, the status. And here on the left, you'll be able to toggle on, toggle off as most of our platform is. So let's say for example, you wanted to send all of these posts for approval. You easily could by just pressing this box up here. Or let's say you only wanted to send a few at a time. You could do that really easily as well. So. For this example right now, I'm going to show how to send multiple posts for approval and then I'll show you how to approve multiple and or reject. So let's say I wanted to send three posts to my coworker. So I wanted to send this Facebook post, this X post and this Instagram post. They're going up next week and I want to make sure that everything looks okay. So you'll go ahead and toggle on the post that you want to send and you'll see up here that this bulk actions box is now no longer grayed out. So if I remove that, you'll see here it grays out. But once you have some posts selected, you will be able to perform bulk actions. So clicking into here, you have approve, reject, send to review, and delete. Like I said, you could do a lot with the list view. Of course, we want to send to review, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that, and it's going to show you all the posts that you want to send. So of course, if it was the whole page, you would see that long list here. And then you're going to want to click on send to review all. This is basically just asking you to confirm if these are the correct posts that you want to send to review. So we click on that, and then this box is going to pop up here. So I'm gonna get rid of that real quick. So this is the select review users box. So if you wanna send it to people within your organization, you'll see here the users listed. If you have a lot of users listed like we do, you can also search for the user. So let's say I wanted to send it to Robert, my coworker. I can click here. If I wanted to send it to more than one person, I can also add multiple people. I'm only going to send it to Robert this time, but again, you can keep adding users as you please. And then down here, you're going to see how, well, before I see how many reviewers must approve the post to publish it, you'll see add reviewers by email, but I will get to that feature later. So in the how many reviewers must approve the post to publish it, this is the same as before. We have three options. So let's say I was sending it to three people and I clicked all reviewers. This would mean they would all have to review the post and approve it 
in order for it to be scheduled. At least one is just at least one person needs to approve it. And then we also have the no reviewers option. And to just give you a couple of use cases for how you can use no reviewers, this could be for, let's say, maybe you have, you were asked to get out a last minute post and that needs to go up ASAP and they want to see it, but they don't necessarily need to approve or deny it. You could use that in that case. Or let's say you have a client that's pretty hands off. So they want to be able to like review the content, but they don't necessarily need to approve or reject anything because they trust you or for whatever reason that's another reason that no reviewers can come into play but of course I'm gonna do either all reviewers or at least one since I just have Robert selected and then I also have the option to notify the reviewers by email so I will not toggle that on because I'm not going to send him an email right now but if I wanted him to get an email notification as well as a notification within Metrical I could toggle that on so I'm gonna go ahead and click send and now all those three posts are sent to review, which you will see right here, three posts sent to review, and you'll click on understood. And see how easy it was to send multiple posts for approval. And you'll even see here the status has now changed instead of pending. It says pending of approval, meaning that it is in that workflow process waiting to be approved on the other end. So that is how you send multiple posts for approval. I'm going to also show you on the other end how you can approve multiple posts or reject multiple posts at once. So I'm actually going to scroll down and down here I have a couple of posts that are are waiting for me to review and approve and I can do it all within this list page so if I wanted to toggle on this and then click on bulk actions and hit approve it's going to be the same thing essentially approve three posts you'll want to make sure everything looks good and I can hit approve all if I wanted to reject the multiple posts I could hit reject all so, and then it would ask if I wanna add a note to the post and then, or I could reject without note. So we have that option as well. And I could also just simply hit approve or reject. Making it really easy, you can choose your preference of how you want to approve or reject posts. So this is how you would use the list view page. Now you can use this view or if you prefer, you can also go into the top right corner and you can go into my tasks and you can individually approve or reject a post. This is also some people's personal preference, whether they want to use kind of like that bulk actions or if they prefer to just handle everything in their tasks bar. So here you can actually click into the post and look at the preview. If you just prefer to, you know, do those in individual selections, approve, reject. It's the same exact process. If you reject, you'll be able to leave a note. You'll also be able to just hit approve or reject here. If you slide over, you'll see approve or reject. And this is another way that you can do those approval processes. Now, I personally like the list view a lot better. For me, this is just a lot easier. So I can go ahead and toggle on all of these posts, hit bulk actions, hit approve, approve all. Now it's approving them. Three posts are approved. I hit understood and it's all good to go. Now you can see here that it says pending because the post is pending to be scheduled out, but it has also been approved. And then if I were to go into my tasks, you'll see here that all all of those posts that I needed to approve are gone. Now looking at my tasks, I had just previously sent three posts for approval. So I can see here that one of those posts was actually rejected. If I click into the post preview, I can see here, you know, the post, the caption, and I can also see that its status is rejected. So I can click the little edit button and it's going to take me to the metrical planner directly to that post. And I can go ahead and make those modifications as needed. If you click into notes here, you'll be able to see why the post was rejected. So mine says, let's include a CTA in the caption. This way followers know where to find the study. So now that I know what they need, I can go in and I can add that CTA. So we already have it because this was an example post, but here's the CTA. What did you end up choosing? And then you can go back and you can send the post to review and you can put that back into the workflow and send it back to your coworker, your client, whatever that process is for you. Or if you have the proper permissions, you could even schedule it. So I am going to send it to review again and I am going to send it to Robert again, and then, you know, hit at least one, send, and 
And then now he has the new post to review with the edits that I made. And you'll also see here that in my tasks, I now no longer have anything open because I did make those edit corrections that I had. Now we're gonna move back into the planner and I'm going to talk about how to send a post to someone that is not within the Metricool organization or associated with your Metricool account. So let's just pick a random post. So this one is going out tomorrow. As you can see, it is all ready to go. I have the caption, I have the graphic, and I want to send it to review. My example that I'm going to use is I want this to be um, a collaborative post, so I will be tagging someone in the caption. So I want to make sure that this post that they're tagged in is good to go, everything is accurate, I haven't missed any information that they also wanted to include. So I'm going to send this to review. And instead of my, you know, clicking on the users within my organization, I'm actually going to add a reviewer by email. So I'm going to put in an email here. And you'll see here that it shows up here just the little initials and there's a little trash can if you do want to remove it or you could just click the X. You can add multiple reviewers by email and then you're going to go down here and you're going to hit send. Of course I have it toggled on to at least one because there's only one person I'm sending it to. One thing I do want to know is this notify reviewers by email. Because this is someone that is not associated with your Metricool account meaning that they can't log in, this means that even if notify reviewers by email is toggled on or toggled off, no matter what, they're going to get an email because that is the only way that they can approve or reject the post. So we're gonna go ahead and click send and I will make sure to show you what it looks like on the receiving end. So we're sending that out. Now let's go see what it looks like when someone receives a metrical post in their email for review. So this is what a metrical email is going to look like. The subject line is going to be new scheduled post review. And then here it'll tell you who has sent you a review request. You'll see a button here to review the post, but before you go ahead and click on that, you'll also see a small little preview. So you'll see the post content, so the caption and the graphic, and then there's also a link down here to open in browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on review the post. So you'll see a new tab will open and you can toggle between preview or notes. In the preview, you'll be able to see the caption, the graphic. You can also toggle between the mobile view or the desktop view and see if you know you like both of those configurations. You can look into the notes tab to see if there have been any edits, any notes, and that is just so that you can kind of stay on top of that approval process. And then of course you can approve or reject it. If you reject it, it is very similar to the process within the actual tool, which is you can leave a note. So maybe some suggestions or some corrections, or you can just choose to reject without a note. And then you can also just click approve. Either way, this is a very simple way to send a post out for review for someone that maybe doesn't have a lot of time, that doesn't want to necessarily create a Metricool account. As you know, sometimes clients can be pretty hands off. If you want to send a one off post, there are many ways to utilize the send to reviewer by mail. So now we've covered both cases where you can bulk send or you can do the one offs by email, depending on what your client or your teams prefer. And those are the two big features added to our approval system, bulk actions and sending to approval through email. I do, before I finish all of this off, I do want to show what the calendar will look like when there are pending posts for approval. So as you can see right now in our planner, if something has already successfully you know, sent out, you'll see here that it has a green bar on the left and it says published. Anything that is waiting for approval through by someone will have this yellow bar and then blue is just pending. So either it's pending because it's already been approved or it's just pending because it hasn't been sent by approval. And if a post has been rejected, you will see this bar here on the left be red. And that's basically how you can also tell where posts are in the approval system workflow when you are looking at it in calendar view. 
And that's our updated approval system tutorial metric coolers. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions about approving posts, sending posts for approval, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below. We'll make sure to get to any and every comment. And if you've made it this far, don't forget to use the code TRYFREE, and that's going to give you 30 days free of any Metricool premium plan. Remember that the approval system starts at the advanced plan, so if you do want to try it out for free for 30 days, make sure to choose advanced when you're using that code. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!